Hello and good morning, beautiful family. Happy Tuesday. It is November the 12th, 2024. Did you miss me? Uh, I hope you guys had a good weekend. And once again, happy Veterans Day to all our vets out there. We do appreciate your service, not just yesterday, but every day. Uh, Lee and I celebrated our 31st wedding anniversary yesterday, and it was very nice. We went to dinner and just spent some time together. Okay, now let's get in to where the energy is. We've got some deep dives that I'm going to do, some questions of events going on out there, and I'll be doing those here in a bit but let's get started with our daily energy figure where we're at as a collective how are you feeling i hope you're good oh by the way um update on the littles they're all good and healthy and back to school missing mimi and papa but they're good so thank you for all your prayers all right so where are we at today as a collective? Six of Cups. Giving gifts, being nostalgic, making memories. Beautiful card. So the energy's good. The lovers. We're full of love. Good. That's where we should be. That's what we've been told. Love, 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 love. Okay. In the past, strength. We showed our strength. We're still showing our strength. That love can fix anything, right? Four of Swords. Are we getting some rest? In the fall leaves, preparing for winter. This is about taking a moment to um, rejuvenate yourself. Um, it could be underlying um, spiritual gifts coming out, but we're taking a break. We're getting some rest. I did. I have been. In the future, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. This is an individual making a wish. Um, very happy with our decisions emotionally. Emotionally uh, abundant. And uh, celebrating. All right, some advice. Nine of Pentacles, remembering our independence and sovereignty and being financially abundant. All right. And our Wheel of Fortune, twists of fate. And it can actually mean uh, a fortune. Beautiful cards this morning. There's no negativity here. Um, I do believe we are well on our way way to creating our future high priestess we are um, getting more in tune with seeing beyond the veil and using our intuitive abilities and skills two of swords remember we don't fear the unknown and in the future we may have to use our discernment about information and news which we've been doing all along so that's nothing new but sharpening our intuitive and discernment skills help us get through uh, the unknown and what's going to play out in this crazy movie and this world beautiful tarot read this morning congratulations family keep spreading the love all right let's do um, what do we got? We got our golden insight. Are we still cheering on King for his Cupid's arrow? He's like, I don't think so, Jim. All right, let's see. Reminder, tarot class later today, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'll do some more fun stuff. 
All right, where is the collective today? We got fuzz on the mat. Okay. Three people. There's our collective. Third party. Love triangle. Outside interference. External factors. I still look at this as the three of cups like tarot. I mean, this is really just friends and family joining together. Um, but now if you want to get 3D and look at outside interference, you can look at the political scene and see this. They're starting to make some moves that make you go, hmm, third party can be our deep state. Okay. Trident. Wow. Controlled emotions, power to manipulate emotions, water journey. So lots of drama here. Okay. So if we look at the political scene and the outside interference, they are trying to manipulate your emotions and they're trying, I think in the future, and I'm going to deep dive this, that they may be stirring up um, and trying to create a civil war and we're not going to buy into it. Your egg. This is um, changes around the corner. Okay, so we are, this is new life energy. We know that our golden age is here and we're entering a new, new beginning. And we're not going to buy into the drama and let them manipulate our emotions anymore. We stay grounded and knowledgeable and gaining our discernment for all those situations that we're going to hear and see about okay so a little bit of a warning but we know how to control ourselves okay and we pray and send out love for those who don't know how to control themselves all right let's tap into our higher selves and figure out what advice we have today. If you hear clanging in the background, Mr. Boomer has joined me for the reading this morning. And he's playing with his collar. All right. What are collective higher selves telling us today? Possibly working on something? Take a chance. All right. It's time to step outside of your comfort zone. The world is waiting for you to take a chance. And when you do, you'll be rewarded with newfound confidence and enthusiasm and will begin to attract new results. All right. So if there's something you've been wanting to do, um, take a chance. And, you know, growth is about stepping out of your comfort zone in any area of your life. Okay. We've. We've put ourselves in a protective bubble for so long. We need to step out of that, take control of the reins, and move forward. So think about something that you want to do. It could be your future humanitarian project. You're thinking, man, what I want to do is so far out there. No one's going to uh, want to get on board. You would be wrong. Think outside the box. Think of something that... No one else could possibly think of. Take a chance, put it on paper, and you'll be amazed at what we're going to be able to create this new world. Okay? All right. Now, deep dive a little bit of 3D energy out there. Could be things that we could hear about in the news or energy that we're dealing with. Let's take a look and remember to always use your discernment with what you hear and see because we are not going to let them stir up emotions we're in control
envy. I think we have this one. There is some of that energy out there. Um, you know, in the in the election realm, the voting realm, there are some people that are envious of um, the win, wishing it was them, burning evidence. We kind of figure there's some of this going on because Mr. T has won. Now they're uh, scared and backed into a corner, so they're probably trying to do this. Love story once upon a time. Interesting. Love story. Well, it could be a couple that we hear about in the news, but I'm getting more that love energy that we're producing and putting out there um, in the world that we are creating. You know, they can do this all they want to. We're focused on love. Maybe one of you... Uh, hey, King of Cups, maybe, maybe, yes, Mr. Boomer, I hear you, love, all right, all right, let's move to a spirit animal, who's coming today? think he wants outside hang on okay mr. boomer is outside now let's find out who's gonna help us with our animal energy today independent the cat that's boomer yeah wanting outside you are a natural healer your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd life supports you in every way yeah absolutely well just remember critical thinking being independent and sovereign is very important this is the you do you boo card okay Life supports who you are, not what they expect you to do to go with the flow, okay? If you're going against the grain, taking a risk, stepping outside of your comfort zone, you're in charge of that, okay? Think for yourself. All right. How about an angel number? Maybe 444 will show back up again. It's a busy card. All right. Prayers for everyone out there dealing with um, fires seem to be the disasters going on right now. So prayers. For anyone dealing with that, I know King of Cups said Washington's got a lot of bad fires. New Jersey, California. All right. What's our angel number today? 1515. 1515. One, the big break. Innovation, focus, creation, progress, move forward, movement, skills, and goals. All right. Where, where are we going with our life purpose? Could be your humanitarian project. An opportunity, help, extra cash, or other supports coming your way. So keep going and have fun when performing your tasks. The most tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. That's got humanitarian written all over it. So, 1515, military time here, that would be 315 p.m., but look for the numbers ones and fives today. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Spirit. 
All right, one last little thing to do. Are we ready to math? You're like, no thanks, Jen. Well, let's see what we get. What is the collective focused on? What do we have? 128, 95, 39, 18, and 133. 128, I do believe, is a zodiac. Yep, it's the Pisces. Okay, affirmation would be, I believe. Uh, Blue collar comedy tour, remember? I believe. Sorry. It's a redneck thing. Um, Pisces. Remember, we're coming out of the Pisces age and going into the Aquarian age. Okay. 95. Have some coffee or tea. Yes, please. 95. Awaken your senses. Okay. Remember that four of swords we got in the tarot read? We're working on our spiritual gifts. We've gotten high priestess. We are really tuning in to looking beyond the veil and opening that third eye and sharpening those skills so keep working on it and if you need a cup of coffee or tea to get you started it's all right 39 we have the hourglass time's a ticking yep time is of the essence yeah we are moving quite quickly into this golden age and we have a lot of work to do so tick tock if you haven't started working on your humanitarian and and your goals not only for yourself but the rest of the world Get busy. 18. We have a crescent moon. Dreams, nighttime, blocked intuition. Okay. If you can remember your dreams or ask for you to be able to remember your dreams, nighttime is usually when our beloved past loved ones, guardians, off-worlders, anybody that's benevolent usually comes to us. If you do happen to remember your dreams, wake up, write it down, and you can go back and reflect on it later, okay? Um, if you do have blocked intuition, increase your prayer and meditation time. If it, what you're doing is not working, change it up a little bit. It's okay. All right, we're a work in progress. 133, the open book. is book partially read you're distracted something's left unfinished and no closure it could be because you have a blockage so don't sweep it under the rug and say well i'm never going to finish that no you've got to be determined and set a goal for yourself okay open up those intuitive skills maybe your humanitarian project you've only written half of it and you're you're kind of stuck it's okay to be stuck, but ask for clarity, okay? So if you're one that starts a project and then gets distracted and never finishes it, that's something you want to prioritize. Maybe you get into a prayer and meditative state and all of a sudden you hear the clock ticking on the wall or the wind blowing outside or you think about what you've got to do to get done with chores that day. Work on staying focused and getting clarity. Okay, so once again, 128, 95, 39, 18, and 133. All right. All right. So that is your reading, family, for this Tuesday. I will see tarot class later today. I will be doing some deep dives. Um, I've got a couple of countries that Spirit wants me to do. And then I've got some world things going on that we might take a deep dive in and look into. Okay, what's in FEMA is one of them. All right. Okay. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, for the, those not in tarot, I will see you on the round table tomorrow for whatever Wednesday. Bring your questions. Until then, have a very blessed day. Know that God loves you, and so do I.